Hey folks, Father Sanpati from CG Virus here. Today we're going to see a very stupid plugin I have met <laughs> for Natron. Uh, this is actually, I was uh, trying the uh, Python API of Natron. So, I you know, just made something. Um, what you need to do is basically go to the download section in Natron and uh, go to the community plugin section. And uh, here you will see uh, the download so just download it here and uh, there are some instructions so follow that and uh, it will be as usual so what about the plugin the plugin is basically you know making some playback audio playback in Natrum so now uh, for Windows users what they need to do is basically you need to go to the Natrum plugin your extracted you know downloaded section and go to the draw and there is audio VLC so just uh, go here oh before everything else <laughs> it's uh, it's using the vlc backend so you need to download vlc as well okay so uh, you better use 64 bit for that so yeah download the vlc otherwise it will not work so now let's go here uh, if you are using uh, in uh, windows if you are using the 64 bit vlc just uh, double click it here and uh, it will uh, create a path environment variable if you're using 32-bit uh, VLC uh, double click this guy and uh, it will install the path for you so these are necessary okay for uh, Windows users uh, Linux Mac OS uh, I know you don't need that uh, just install VLC that will be enough anyway so <clears throat> let's go for Natron let's go for Natron uh, don't use this plugin for you know super serious uh, production <laughs> it will not work like that yeah you know uh, Natron has some uh, big issues like lagging and things and uh, audio is all about latency so we need a C uh, plugin for that pure C plugin not uh, like this guys uh, you know these are hacks so don't use it very seriously <laughs> okay so uh, let's go to the open the project here okay so first thing first <coughs> I have load uh, uh, tears of steel and uh, now let's hear about this audio so what you need to do is basically uh, press tab and uh, audio okay so this is the audio VLC there we go so let's talk about these things first. So audio VLC, audio VLC has a sound file uh, which needs a path. Uh, you don't need to touch them; they will be automatically uh, loaded. So, yeah. Now, first thing first is basically um, let's import a sound file. Okay, so let's use this sound file, and I'm just going for some random. That was this one. All right. So, um, what you need to do is basically you need to uh, create a range uh, for caching first, okay? Because audio needs caching. So, what you need to do is basically press Control and uh, select some range somewhere here, and press Control and select some range somewhere here. Now you need to cache it, okay? So let's go cache and uh, let's cache it. All right, now you can see it has been cached, right? So now uh, what we need to do is basically uh, see here, okay? There will be a frame range, so uh, you know frame rate FPS. See here, this one. It is two point five, twenty five, twenty four, okay? So what you need to do is basically go here in your main projects. Uh, um, uh, there should be a frame rate, right? So what I need to do is basically press S and you should uh, give your frame rate first. Okay, this one is uh, 24 uh, FPS frame rate. If we were going for 30 FPS, we should use 30 FPS. Okay, so frame rate, press S and uh, go for frame rate 24. Okay, so this one is 24. All right, so now let's go here. And uh, yeah, let's go here. And uh, what I'm going to do, uh, we have already cached it. So uh, go here. I can see 
it needs to be 24 first so uh, natron needs some latency you know some latency cache uh, to give it 24 now what we can do is basically go for play okay there we go all right if you need to stop it just stop it here suppose i need some more cache something like this so let's cache it first okay let's cache let it load for 24 fps stable now let's go for play stop it you can stop it here and you can see this fps is 24 automatically if we had press s 30 fps let's do it like that go to audio vlc now if we just enable it here make it green now play you will see a different frame, frame rate actually. okay you can see the different frame rates So, uh, if we go to the read file, you can use some custom APIs as well. So, you can give it 30. Okay. So, basically, uh, what you should do is basically go to the S process setting and uh, give your frame rate, a standard frame rate. It doesn't mean, you know, you need to read one or read two, whatever. But uh, if you're using an, uh, you know, video file, quite obviously, you need to set your frame rate here as well. But uh, compositing is about, you know, mixing things. So, uh, suppose if we had some PNG, it doesn't have any frame rate. So, it doesn't mean anything. So, yeah. So go for your project setting and uh, give it the standard frame rate you have. So this one, uh, if I'm using this one, uh, custom frame rate 30, so the project frame rate is also 30. And uh, audio VLC will also get the, audio VLC will get the project setting frame rate, nothing else, okay? It will not read for uh, various read uh, formats, read frame rate. It will go for project uh, frame rate okay directly so here we go and uh you know let it play let it be green now you can see this is 30 fps let's play here we go okay so frame rate project setting and use uh you know appropriate frame rate here as well so, yeah anyway so now let's talk about this one this is panic stop suppose let's stop it Suppose uh, sometimes uh, we do stuff like C, uh, one play, then I'm using another instance, then I'm using another instance. So accidentally we have created lots of instances. So what we can do is just panic stop and it will delete all the instances you had. Okay, C, one, two, three, four, Five. Panic stop. Okay, so accidentally, if you if you do that, you can do it like that. So this is it actually. Uh, so what you need to do is basically just play it here. Go for a green. If it says green, yes, you can now catch it. You are seeing the real time preview. Let's play it. There we go. And uh, you can change your quite obviously change your frame range. Go here. Wait for green. Here we go. It's green. Play it. Okay. Let's stop it. Uh, suppose here. So it will need some caching here. So let it cache for a while. There we go. It's green. Yeah, green. So let's play it. Okay. That's it. <clears throat> so the thing is basically um, um, the problem is latency audio needs latency so audio has latency problem uh, latency issue so we need C all right I'm I will try to make an OFX or I will try to communicate with other developers who can do OFX as well so yeah let's see <sighs> okay so use it just for you know preview don't use it for serious stuff don't do it all right. Thank you.
I'm Father Simple Thing from CG Virus, and we're going to see you next time. Bye bye.